really glitched. There is a bug if you do if you buy, kind of buy too many files to buy any more. You can't really buy any more now. There's kind of a bug like you can't rebuy really too much, and then the store gets a bit broken. All the magazine catalog gets a bit broken. Uh, I spent a long time in this game. I spent about like 700 hours in this. Um, really enjoyed it. Pretty much since this time last year is when I started it, and then I played it through for a good two thirds of at least last year. Really enjoying the situation. Didn't really understand a lot. Uh, there's a lot to learn in the game and it does kind of teach you one thing it doesn't really teach you is these cards and they make a Dramatic difference in the game. This is a set I permanently use pretty much now and I recommend it to anyone that is struggling with their cards uh, the one that was uh, What is it live for the fight slip for the fight is generally the best if you like uh, paint it black like I do just live for the fight is the one uh, I used to like eye for an eye and all that but just no just yeah, uh, what was it? Which is one? Fool me once. I mean, that can be quite powerful combined with this set. Uh, maybe take live for the fight away and use tonics, and you could have that. Fool me once is quite good, but nah, on the whole, uh, this set has been really good for me. I have come across in my time playing there's some different griefers using. Would it be like slow and steady and like slippery bastard? Both can be quite tricky against someone like me that's using controller with the aim assist and the gyro aiming, which does make me very accurate. But um, overall, uh, and ammo types make a big difference. I use split point and repeater, uh, just stick to normal shotgun shells, they're the best, and express and pretty much everything else. If you want to do hunting, high velocity is the, is the ammo to use there, but that's about it. A lot of these things I had to kind of research. It's like basic tips. The, the dog agrees. I called this dog Nids for obvious reasons. The pat the dog. We'll go. We'll go and do some potty stuff. Uh, I spent a long time grinding with a few friends on this, uh, earning money, doing different roles, and playing in potties, and getting griefed, and getting hacked, and doing all sorts of shenanigans. And overall, had a lot of fun. Uh, I've never paid for gold. One of the easiest ways of getting gold back in this game. Because uh, many people don't seem to know this. It's not in that menu. You can press start and then you go to like progress. You go to awards. And the game will give you loads of awards for different stuff in here. I'm, I'm going to quickly go over this. We'll just use sharpshooter as an example. And it will give you... Uh, it basically tell you how many people you've done. So like one out of a thousand or seven out of a thousand. Once that's done... Uh, you can come in here and it will say dot bottom corner reset award. If you reset it, it will give you gold. Not all of them you can reset. Some of them you can. Uh, and this goes for all of these. And by resetting it, it gives you 0 0.4 gold. Uh, and if you imagine when I first found that, I think I got like 20 gold bars back. Because uh, I didn't find that until I was like rank 80 or something. And I've got like a couple hundred hours in the game or so. Um, I've never spent money on gold. You can do in the beginning, I can see why, but other than that, there's there's really no need to. And I feel that's possibly why this whole Save Red Dead Online thing is trending, because they've added the roles in, uh, like the, I think the last one was like the Moonshiner and the Naturalist. I kind of joined in, as I said last year, when all that was already added. So the one thing that was disappointing to me is the Capitale. Because overall, this is this is my favourite game. I, I love this game. I think my character's great. Uh, I choose a bit of a randomised choice, but I feel like I got quite lucky. Um, but they added... How do we look at it? Is it my satchel? This could do with organising. I'd love it if we could organise this provisions bit and others, because there's some of these I just don't use and others I use all the time. But they're always in a randomised order, and it's really kind of annoying to go through. Is it here? Oh, there it is. 50, yeah. And the idea behind that is the I thought was going to be you could almost sell it. You could use it as, I don't know, buy some special things that you otherwise couldn't. Or you, there's going to be a stock market in the game. You're going to have to be able to do special like contacts and things and receive Capitale. But no, you have to spend the Capitale to do a mission. And even if you've already done that mission to sound like the hardest difficulty... Like a telegram mission which teleports you into a separate separate mode um but i thought you know doing that you you'd be able to repeat it with your friends and that without having to pay again but every time you want to play it, you have to pay it. and it's not that good of a mission there's some same similar missions to other missions in the game um and i think whether you get rewarded more capitale for doing that and there's other ways you can farm it through i think it's the blood money missions uh for some of the 
what would you call them? People that hand out missions in the game, I suppose. Um, yeah, I just I didn't think it was it was done right because basically there's there's no use for it, um, and there's nothing you can do with it. You can't rob it off of other players even. Uh, there's nothing you can buy with it. It's just basically it just seems it could have had something. Uh, and it didn't. And one thing just before it came out, that Blood Money update came out, all the banks were open across the map. Uh, I distinctively remember. I don't know why this is glitching out. I've never seen this before. I was obviously doing something before. Oh, we got players coming back. Oh, posse. I'm going to go and posse up in a sec. Uh, I just wanted to talk about it a bit before we get going. But I think definitely like roads, which is one of my favourite places. And I think... Uh, there was another bank. Could have been in just... Uh, could have been in St. Denis. Um, but either way, basically the banks were open. So I was thinking, oh, you know, there's going to be like bank robberies. And uh, just like in the final scene of um, A Land of Opportunities, which I do enjoy the story missions. And the annoying thing I find with the story missions, and they are very popular. I can click on story mission now and we'll, we'll get straight into a game room for someone, I'm sure. And that is good. Um, but it says on call, and I, I don't know, I, I feel like it basically doesn't really give you the choice of to choose what you want to do, you just get kind of put in anything. Um, I kind of feel like it'd be nice if you could kind of like, I don't know, I don't know, it would say, do you want to join this person doing this mission, do you want to accept? And it'd be like, no, I don't want to do that specific mission again, I won't, you know, we'll go, we're still on call, but go on to the next one. But it doesn't really work like that. Um, and the same with like the posse up. Uh, there's no real like sort of server lobby or anything you can look at to see the actual lobby so uh i don't know i i just feel like it'd be nice if you could see if there's more than one posse available uh you could just see what's going on in the ranks and things before you join it um and the same thing for the series playlist like it's just kind of random so no oh, shit, i'm gonna have to cancel that <laughs> Well, it looks like we're doing some much fun. But this is kind of what I'm saying. There's no, like, choice on what you get to do. It just kind of puts you in anything. Um, guns don't matter as much. Because pretty much every single gun in this is really good. Um, even the cattleman you start with is really good. So, it really doesn't matter. Good place for a shootout, though. We're in, uh... I can't even think. Tumbleweed, isn't it? The Lonesome Cowboys. Say that. We have our top half. Are you Friday, friend? He's got his lasso out, so no troubles going down. Oh, I've got my guns. I'm going to go and switch to Express because uh, I like split point for being accurate, but yeah. This could just be a deathmatch. Dispatch your opponents. Yeah, I mean, this is just a deathmatch. Oh, shit. Yeah, if they're sniping, I'm in trouble. I think he's sniping. Yeah, he's sniping. I ain't got my sniper. I think this is literally just a team deathmatch, so there, yeah, there it is. Oh, really? No way. So the tonics are pretty OP in this. We'll just have a level two. How did I not... He might be... Yeah, there might be... This one's a cheating, I think, this guy. So is this, is this it straight away, this guy's cheating? Because I don't think you should be able to sustain that. I think he's cheating. Oh, he just died. Hmm. It's been a while, but we, we we got quite a lot of headshots there. Did not get the kill. Is the other side of it? Like it takes a lot to kill them. Because I'm pretty much. There you go. That's that's more Red Dead Online. Oh shit! No, he's gonna kill me. No, don't. Yeah, I'm at the range. Uh, let's use a level 3. Got some steak in a minute. Where is he? Oh, fuck off. I don't know where everyone is. I think he's still over here. Oh, he's up there. No way. Unless this thing's been nerfed or something. I've got a shot from over here, isn't it? I have no idea. Everyone's sniping, it seems. 
what this guy's doing. He's like killing his horse or something. He's still dead. No. Mr. Lobby loves skid. Okay. Circular area for the stage finish. Don't want to split point. Pretend that match didn't happen. I don't know. I, I prefer, this is why I've enjoyed is doing the posse up. I didn't actually do any of the posse up until I was probably about a rank 100 or so. Oh, wrecked friend. Um, but once I did, it's kind of all I sort of used to do is just jump from lobby to lobby. Uh, you just press start, go to online, come here to online, and go over to posse up, and you can just join any sort of random open posse, or equally create one. Wow, this monitor. I haven't really played this game with this new monitor. This looks fantastic. With all the, it actually looks like a, the correct temperature, whereas my old screen was a lot more washed out. what we're doing, but we'll help this gentleman. Oh, come on. Can you get him, friend? This is, the main game is... We can't... Oh, no, he's a friendly. Uh, the main game is seemingly... Are they? Are they? No, I... I can't kill that guy. Is it bugged? What's going on? Is the game broken this year? Is this why everyone's going to save this game? Because it didn't used to be broken. Oh, that's odd. No, he's downstairs, isn't he? No, he's downstairs. He wouldn't let me shoot him. That was odd. Uh, I would jump on with you, but I can't be bothered. I'm going to loot these guys. Oh, there's a collectible over here. I just put a lot of the time into this game and really, really generally uh, enjoyed the atmosphere. The, it's still, I'd say, one of the few games that can really push modern graphics cards, really. I actually upgraded my my 1660 Super to get to play this game. You got your horse. I kind of figured as much. Rig station. There you go, so someone else has joined. Well, on the whole, I don't know. I'd like to see more roles added. It'd be nice if you could buy properties, which other people have said. That would be awesome. Get him, friend. Come on, use that hand cannon. Um, more missions. I want to see more story mode missions. With, it only just felt like it got started with Lady Leclerc in the Land of Opportunities in this, and the reality is the um, it was kind of the end of it. I was like, oh. You have to go and then do negative honor missions if you've not been, if you've not done that. I think I ended up paying for it, but I didn't do the the bank robbery and the negative missions. For a long time until I paid Mr. Jones to actually get negative karma, but on the whole, I've. Most people play the good game in this. You'll find most people that play the rebel side of things are. Um, are cheaters, more often than not. Most people get away with having a bounty and stuff on your average player, unfortunately. So when you go after them, it's not actually what it seems. They're, they're going to be pretty invincible and hard to kill. And, uh, yeah, it's not not very good in, in many ways, unfortunately. Um, the cheaters used to be a, kind of a big problem. I don't know how big of a problem it is still anymore. I think it definitely got a lot better. Um, they did a... I think they they sued uh, one of the cheat providers. At least one of them, I think. And uh, that's where actually a lot of it stopped. It's kind of thing what's going on in Call of Duty right now, which is good. It kind of needs to be more of that happening. Yeah, it's just a bounty, I think. But hey guys, thanks. Good night. There you go. Good night, bud. Yeah. Oh, tip, tip my hat to him. I don't know. I'd like to see more content added, more clothes, maybe a few more guns. You know, all that sort of jazz. You rolls. 
I always thought gold mining or something would be kind of cool. I would buy, be able to buy like a gold mine or something or some sort of industry. I'm, I haven't really played GTA Online, but I assume there's a lot of these sort of side roles and things in it. I don't really know. You can get this Or the leader. However, a man is somewhere else or woman. Who knows? But the world, the map here is, is absolutely stunning. Um, I've never really fast travelled in the game until fairly recently. Um, I used to just ride everywhere. And even like the starting out horses are pretty good. Hands left. I'm not surprised. Yeah, even now this is still probably one of the more intense games. Graphically. And I've got this in hardware unboxed up to my settings. Which I'd recommend. Very much so. Seems really good. Uh, and I use DLSS on balanced, I think. And that's been a game changer. It's... it's The 1660 Super could only do about... It could sometimes get 60 frames a second, but it was mainly about like 40s. And I really enjoyed it at that, to be honest. I played a majority of the game like that. It's only recently... I've got this card a few months ago. And uh, it makes that bit of a difference in this, for sure. That you can get about 60 frames locked and a little bit more like we're getting now. Sometimes. I'm going to Thieves Landing. The hunting is great in this game. Very realistic. I kind of got bored of it, though, and ended up actually quite enjoying the naturalist role. Uh... Some parts of the world can be pretty shitty, like if you accidentally kill animals or horses uh, during like... Uh, if you get attacked by wolves, for example, uh, Harriet won't want anything to do with you, purely because of um, you having to defend yourself against wolves, she'll basically not, uh, not let you do any missions or buy anything. That's kind of annoying when you've particularly gone out of your way, or if you've planned your session to go and do that at least one point and you can't go and do that it's like oh great now I've got to go and do you know something else do this like posse up or join uh, do a bounty or something or join a multiplayer or whatever that's yeah I don't know kind of annoying I kind of think it should be done on a more probably similar honest system they did just for like being good or bad sort of thing if you're bad on that then she won't have anything to do with you but if because you're good then you know who cares um but yeah whatever ah shit good to then so you want to be all stealthy like there's a random most people in this are pretty good most people don't shoot on sight or anything kind of good you do get the occasional uh want to be john wayne and it's quite fun to do it especially if you're on a posse you can have a posse on posse gun. The repeat at the beginning isn't really that necessary, but at later on it kind of becomes quite necessary. The Cattleman is a do-it-all weapon for sure. It's so quick. Hold it. Hold it. Shotgun is definitely a must. I say I enjoyed the double barrel. The, I had the rare one first, I think, at the beginning. Because you actually you forget you have to unlock the guns by rank anyway. But they're all really good. All the guns are really good. I've not tried the pistols, but I wouldn't anyway. They yeah, don't mind me, I'm just going to loot like everybody. Where's my horse? Oh, you're letting him get away. Your friend, do you not know what's going on? It's all good to be waving at things, but the guy's... The guy's getting away. Like, he man on the back. Oh, and the saddle. Yeah, I've got Nacho Doctor's saddle. You don't really want to get any other saddle. This is, like, literally the best saddle. Uh, you won't be able to ride that long on most of the other saddles. And you can get it at, like, rank 40, I think. Um, and I learned about the saddles just before I think I unlocked it. This is a bad thing. This guy has been on it all the way. I mean, we're just behind him the entire way, but we didn't really do it all that. Kind of sometimes, I guess, how it goes. And we've ridden far. So, like this, are we going to wait? Yeah, I don't blame you. 
So that's the other thing I was going to mention that doing the missions, it doesn't tell you this, but the longer you wait during the missions, uh, the more money you'll get and more gold particularly and obviously most players want to get the gold. Now if we just ended the mission now, probably wouldn't get that much gold, it might even be like 0 0.06 or something, it's quite a lot, little, but I think you can sometimes leave it till like the last few minutes. So I think on when you steal a horse, there's a, there's a list somewhere, you can probably find it on Google Images, uh, that tells you the timings and which one you can end at what time to get the maximum reward. Um, and I think like horse theft, for example, you can leave it to last like three minutes. Uh, and the same thing with, uh, I think, escorting, like the caravan. Uh, there's quite a few of them that are pay pretty well if you just wait. Like, just go and make a cup of tea, go and make a cup of coffee, go to the bathroom. You know, have a little break if that's what you're going to do. Because sometimes like that, we've just ridden quite far, mashing buttons uh, just to ride the horse. So, you know, go and make a, go and have a little break. And that way you'll get the maximum reward for doing time I guess basically time time for money uh, not everyone does it but it is a bit of a thing in online so what rank are these people the guy is actually 21 so he knows clearly we're all over 100 I mean I'm 222 203 183 167 we've all got pretty much the same amount of time in the game pardon me so this person for being new off here, you would be wanting that gold. I mean, they've probably not got all their cards. We can look at their card. They've got painted black. That's the correct choice. They've got two cards, but not chosen any. That's quite a common sight. Most people, I think even I did, like forget about the cards at the beginning. You just want painted black, which is kind of like Red Dead Redemption. You know, the rest of it you don't really care about. And I, I kind of got that. I was like that, but. Uh, and particularly the next few ranks, or if you do player versus player a bit more, you, you're going to want to know a bit more about those. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I don't really have to sort of do any more of this. I might just do some more footage of me playing it. I was kind of going to go through my screenshots. I don't think I've ever screenshotted the game so much as this one. I've got over a thousand screenshots, and I had more before that. I had to uninstall the game and reinstall it because I moved it from drives. And somehow it got a bit corrupted when I moved it. Uh, this was a little while ago. And so I had to download and reinstall it. That was the only option, at least at the time. I knew how to fix it now, but uh, I didn't know how to fix it then. And in doing that, I lost uh, a equally, probably like 200, 300 easily uh, screenshots in that from the very beginning. But uh, I was thinking of just doing almost that, turning that into a video itself. I might put some of my favourite ones at the end of this one. I don't know how long this will go. I don't know if I could really do all of them, because I think editing that would be a nightmare. Unless I could easily make like a slideshow or something. But, uh, I was thinking I might just go for them. Pick some of my favourite ones. Oh, I can lead this horse. That's funny. Uh, most of the things, I don't know, it's a fun world to explore. Things like that we can just climb up here. Not everything you can climb up, but I mean, it's quite fun. Damn you to hell. Oh, I can't, am I? Oh, he's coming up too. Oh, there you go. Hey, there we go. We, we being a picture, are we all doing the Save Red Dead Online? Please. like he's on the way to church. But I've done all these and now I've got to do them when I do them. I've got to do them on the hardest difficulty. And if you're bringing new people in, it's really hard um, to get new players to, to be able to do the legendary level of these. So I think you should, again should be able to choose the difficulty, particularly if there's new players involved, because it's harsh. On, on hard, it is, it is very hard. Five stars, it's like a star difficulty rating system, I think. He's got himself a vested interest in Ben's demise. Meet him over at Mercer Station, he might... But these are really good. These are probably one of the best things to do in the game. So difficulty, there you go, two stars. That's just, he's never done it before, potentially. It's the second time he's done it. Uh, but once you do them, like, each time you do it, it gets harder. Until you do it, like, sort of five times, and it gets to the end rank, and then that's... That's kind of that. I, I love this game. Really good. I just want more content. That's all people really want is they just want more content. That's it. Blood Money was okay. Do better. Add more. It should have been like, you know, just a little bit of what was to come. Um, 
and I think they've just kind of gone. Mm, Red Dead Online. Hmm. Great. Oh, the Red Dead Online. Sorry, Grand Theft Auto Online. Or whatever. I dread to think the state of cheating in that game. Go on. So she's training for Red Bunny Clans in there. Yeah, the seven man can do that. He's, it's his mission. We'll just help defend him and try and try not to fall off. Oh, he died. Come on, friend. This is the other thing. If this is legendary, we would have failed the mission because he died. I'm not going to go and do it because it's his mission. I, I want them to... I'm happy to help, but I don't want to take the glory as it were. It's his mission. Oh, it's not got my sawn off. Not a problem. I usually have a sawn off recently, but we've not got it. Got two revolvers, I mean. There we are. Yeah, we can go with two revolvers. I don't usually dual wield. I have the best method for me, use one after the other. You use the right one. Then if you're in a panic, this is kind of an emergency one, basically. So you need an extra six shots. That's what I'll do. So for that reason, I don't always use it. Because the Navy is usually in a good position. This is a great revolver. Love it. Uh, the cattleman's probably equally a favourite. I see. Oh, you killed him. Oh wow. If you can cook it, <laughs> get your meat right here. He he kicked this guy out <laughs> and shot him.